Hey, Paco here. In my last video, I showed you how to collect cultivated purslane seeds. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to collect the seeds from the wild purslane plant. It's pretty much the same process, but uh, these are a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to show you the differences. Okay. So like last time, you're going to want a jar with a wide lid. Uh, white if, uh, is preferable because you will make, make it so you can see the seeds. Uh, so we can set the jar down and just keep the lid. Now wild purslane still has the pods, just like the cultivated stuff does. Uh, and it still has the green ones, which are not ready yet, and the brown ones, which are ready to be harvested. And here's an example of one that has already burst open, and the cap has come, off, come off, and has plenty of seeds inside. Now with wild purslane, I find that because the seeds are so much smaller, I find it easier just to gently lift up the plant, set the container underneath and just kind of rub the leaves and by doing that you can just kind of find the pods that are ready to be opened. It's harder to find individual pods. It's easier just to kind of gently move the plant around a little bit. So we're getting some seeds they're a little bit smaller, and then you can always go back and get rid of the caps. Because the seeds are so small with the wild purslane, um, and the harvesting collects a lot of plant matter as well, uh, I found a technique that works to get rid of the plant matter and keep the seeds, is you get everything to the bottom, tilt it slightly, grab some of the plant matter, push it up, which brings some of the seeds too. But then, if you start tapping and pushing the plant matter back up again, you mostly get rid of the seeds, leaving mostly plant matter behind. And then you can just pick that up and get rid of it without losing too many seeds. I mean, you'll still lose some, but much better than before. And here's about 15 minutes worth of harvesting from about five plants. Again, it may not look like much, but that right there is 50 seeds again. So that has got to be hundreds, if not a thousand seeds or something. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few seeds you can get from this process. So there we go, my wild purslane harvest. Um, yeah, this is one day's worth of harvesting. I could probably come back and do this five more times before the end of the season. Uh, and I can always go out and find the purslane seeds anywhere around. They're growing everywhere right now in my neighborhood. For example, here's a great looking plant right here. So, till next time. Bye. Hey, Paco here. I think I'm probably not on the picture, but that's about...